Hi, in this video I'm going to cover how to work with time values that are over 24 hours. Let's use this example here that we have in this table. And this is basically a chart or a table maybe of people that are volunteering and they have a time in and time out. And you want to calculate the total hours of all the folks that worked. Now this is assuming that the time in and time out is on the same day. right? And so now we have this total hours that are worked. And this is the way that Excel sees time, date and time. More specifically, time is as a uh, decimal. So let me go ahead and kind of describe uh, in text what this means in terms of what when Excel, how Excel sees time. So basically, Excel uses a serial number system to calculate time. Now, one day is a single integer, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. One hour is seen as 1, one day divided by 24 hours which roughly equals to 0 0.041667. Uh, this is actually shortened. It, can, it goes further out. Uh, one minute is 1 divided by 1440, basically how many minutes are in a day. And that's what explains this particular decimal. So when you look at this particular formula, it's basically this minus that. And so 16 minus 8, well, basically from 4, 1640, this is military time, from 440 to 8 o'clock, in Excel, it sees it as 0 0.36111111. But in the, as a human, when you see it, you're seeing that as 8 hours and 40 minutes. So this is the way Excel sees time. If we were to sum up how Excel sees time, and we just did a sum here. I'm going to go ahead and do a sum here. And sum these particular amounts to D6 here. You'll notice that it adds it up correctly. So all this adds up to 19125, which you can see right here, it sums it up correctly. So let's look at this total hours in human time, in human readable time. So basically this is telling us that it's 8 hours 40, this is 8 hours, 8, 8 hours 29, etc. here. So if we try to sum it up here, let me go and auto sum here, and we'll just, uh, actually that's not correct, but we can, since it's highlighted, so since these this marquee uh, is highlighted here, or, or we can call these the, the marching ants, we can actually select it here. We can just select it here, and the marquee will show up here. So I'll just go ahead and press Enter. You'll notice that Excel has now seen it as 254, but you look at that and you go, 254, that doesn't seem right, because 12 plus 8 is already 20, 20 hours and 45 minutes. How could it be 2154? Well, basically what Excel is doing is it is chopping it off. It's only seeing everything, anything past the minutes. What we really should be seeing is 45 hours and 54 minutes. We're only seeing 2154 because what Excel is doing is that that 45 is over 24 hours. So basically, when you think about it, it's 45 minus 24 hours, and it's just chopping it off and just giving you the difference there. So how do you see the full hours? Well, let me go ahead and, and bring our explanation down here. What happens is what you need to do is adjust the way it's displayed. You have to use the H bracket on the hour portion of the format to make Excel display hours that go over 24 hours a day. So what I can do is I can right click this, go into Format Cells, and in the custom, I already have it kind of set up here, there is an option where you can, so you can enclose the hours in square brackets and you can see the sample here. It's displayed it correctly. Now it's 45 hours and 54 minutes. So it is calculated that out correctly. So in any in situation where you see that where you're trying to do these type of uh, hour or time calculations and it doesn't seem like it's adding it up right, you, you have to see and look if it's displaying the values correctly. Now if we have situations where the, the your start and end times are over a day, uh, we actually can do some other things. Uh, here, for example, we can look at our, our start and end. So we, all we need to do is go equal our end time minus the start time. That's going to give us the Excel portion of how many hours total. So this is basically 1.69444 hours. Now, one way, to, one way to read it is also to multiply this by 24. So we do 24 times this particular output it's going to give us 40 hours. So basically, when we look at this, this is a 40-hour difference, right? It's from December 31st to the second of the year. That's basically almost two days. And it kind of works it out to 40 point, 
um, made basically 40.7 hours. Now we can also look and see how we can calculate that based on just the display. So I can also have this display in this format after I do the calculation here. So what I need to do is type equal that minus that equals this. But since it's displayed in the general format, where the Excel sees it, what, what we can do is right click, go into Format Cells. The Format Cells dialog window opens up, go under Custom, and also select that particular format. So once I selected it, you can see that it has show displayed it correctly. Click OK, and we have 40.4, basically 40 hours and 40 minutes. This is still kind of a, um, when you really think about it, even though it's readable, it's saying that it's 40 hours, 40.6 hours. You can either try to think about what 0.6 hours is, or you can let Excel do the display and tell you, okay, it's 40 hours and 40 minutes. So that's the way that you can work with time values if it exceeds 24 hours. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.